Hey, are you alright? I'm a bit mortified. So my broadband's not been working, so I've had a man out. I've waited all day for this man and he comes at quarter past three. So it's not been working. I can't listen to George Michael on my Amazon Music. It's just buffering, 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 buffering. So he comes out and do you know what he's, what he's said? If you take your router out of the cupboard, it'll work better. Ground could have swallowed us up. Honest to God, mortified. Why was the router in the cupboard? Anyways, that, that's where it was. And wait, why did no one say, why did the woman on the phone last night, who was on the phone to for about what felt like an hour, why did she not say, where's your router? And is it is it in a cupboard? I mean, I know what you're going to say. Come on, Nicola, common sense tells you, don't put your router in a cupboard. But it was kind of under the telly in the cupboard. And it has worked till now. It's all of a sudden started buffering. It hasn't always buffered. But anyways, I've took it out of the cupboard and he's told us it'll work better. So we'll wait and see. So I'm going to make, aside from all that, I'm going to make some spaghetti. I fancy spaghetti for my tea. So I'm going to make sun-dried tomato, so tomato, chicken, spinach, spaghetti. I think that'll be nice. It sounds nice. We're going to use some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm on a bit of a diet, so normally I would fry them in the oil in this jar. I'm just going to take the tomatoes out. You need what would be a handful, which would be, I think, about five or six. See, I've got them out on my board. They're not very nice looking. They're quite big. So all the oil that you're going to need is in there already. So you don't need to add any more. So fish five or six of those out of a jar. Grate three cloves of garlic. So I'm just peeling the garlic and already the smell of those tomatoes and that garlic's divine. It's just got Mediterranean holidays all over it. So I don't like sun-dried tomatoes raw, but when you cook them and add them to hot dishes, they just give a depth of flavour and a richness that's, that's lovely. But raw, some people eat them raw on sandwiches and that, I don't like them raw, a bit chewy. Right, so I'll get these grated. You want four ripe tomatoes, four nice ripe tomatoes. And we're going to take, take the stalk off. See this bit? Nobody likes to eat that. It's woody, it's chewy, it's horrible. Cut that out. If you've got a sandwich shop or a salad bar and you're cutting your tomatoes and you're serving that, it's horrible. Cut it out. And all you do is get a knife and go around it. There, it's out. Chewy, stalky, woody bit that no one likes, out. Chop four tomatoes up. I'm getting everything ready because this is gonna be cooked in the time it takes to boil a bag of pasta. In this case, I'm having spaghetti. You have what you like, but it's gonna cook quickly. So if you have all your stuff ready, just to chuck in, and with your tomatoes, you need ripe tomatoes. Don't try making this with tomatoes that are not ripe. It wouldn't be very nice. See, that takes a minute. It doesn't take a minute, it takes seconds. There's no, no need for anyone to be serving a tomato with a core in. That's one of my bugbears. I don't like tomatoes with cores in. So I've chopped up as well, I just used scissors, two chicken breasts. Just gonna seal my chicken, so heat on. Just gonna use a bit of fry light. It's nearly finished. Pop your chicken in. We're not cooking it, we're just sealing it so it's white all over. There, uh, that's done enough. Pop it into a bowl. So just the sun-dried tomatoes, I've chopped them. Sun-dried tomatoes and garlic into the pan. Along with about a tablespoon, maybe half, no, that's enough, a teaspoon 
of dry chilli flakes. Cook those off for a minute or two. Uh, there's enough oil in those tomatoes to cook that garlic. It smells delicious. Half a teaspoon of salt. It's had two minutes. Now go in with all the tomatoes. We just want to cook those tomatoes out a bit. Just turn the heat down and let those blip away. Right, so these are sort of semi-soft now. Back in with your chicken. Got a bag of fresh spinach. Put the lot in. It looks a lot, but it'll cook right down. It was a 125 gram bag. Just stir it in. Try not to lose it. I've got a handful of fresh basil leaves. Just tear them in. See, you can see that spinach has disappeared already. How quick and simple was that? That was almost real time. Finally, grate through about 30 to 40 grams of Parmesan cheese. Better to have it through your pasta rather than just on the top. It gets the flavour all the way through. And when you grate it finely, it goes a long way. You think you've got more than you have. My spaghetti's ready. Add your spaghetti to the sauce. Stir it in. If you're gluten free, go for a gluten free pasta. There we go, how good is that? Just need some crusty bread. Delicious. I've just got in. I've been to the gym. And I've, actually, I've just microwaved this. He you know it is earlier on. But I'm on mine now. It smells delicious. And it's the only thing that's kept me going through that gym class. Go away, but I've got a dog underneath us in case I drop anything. Oh, it smells amazing. But I'm going to absolutely burn my mouth off. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, God, that's good. No butter, no cream. So I would say you get three good portions out of this. I've got, it's done me and Ian, and there's leftovers in the fridge. If you're small eaters, you'll get four out of it, which is good because there's only two chicken breasts in there. But it's so tasty. And there's a big bowl there. Give this a go. Absolutely delicious. You'd pay for that in a restaurant. Make it yourself at home. That's so good. Give it a go. You'd be pleased you did. Have a cracking night. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Don't forget to like and share. Put us a comment underneath.